Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. For those who are new, welcome. And for those who are back, welcome back. I invite you to subscribe. We talk a lot about luxury beauty here. So if you love it, I'd love for you to join us and chat with us in the comments and like and all the things. I would greatly appreciate that and love for y'all to be here. So today we're going to talk about the top five red lipsticks that I think are just great for holiday. Now, there are a ton of red lipsticks on the market, you guys. I know I have not tried them all by all means, so these are just the ones that I've tried, the ones that I really enjoy. I have a few that I would love to try that I know are supposed to be spectacular as well, but these are the ones that I've tried. These are the ones that I would highly recommend from a holiday perspective and a red perspective and I thought that'd be fun to talk about since we're kind of gearing up for the holidays and just I am so excited for the holidays this year. Let's get started with the first red shall we? I like to use a lip liner with a red lipstick pretty much all the time just because you really want this lipstick to look super sharp on your lips and to pop and to just stand out and be gorgeous, you know? The Bobbi Brown Red Lip Liner is great for a red lipstick. I highly recommend this red lip liner. It's beautiful. It's, it's just a really good defining lip liner. Another lip liner that I simply adore is the Dior 999 Lip Liner. Now, Dior 999 is by far one of my favorite reds, you guys, and it is in the lineup today. And I do use this with that particular red lipstick, but I'd use it for other ones as well. And I think it's just so beautiful on the lips. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get started with that one. Okay, y'all, I brought you in a tad closer so that we can go ahead and line the lips with the 999 and Dior. So let's go ahead and do so. So this is just the lip liner in 999 on the lips. And now we're gonna go in with the lipstick. Now, this is the 999 in the Rouge Dior lipstick formula, and let's apply it. This is by far one of my favorite lipstick shades of red. 999 is a universal beautiful neutral shade and I just adore it and this is 999 in Dior. All right so next up we are going to go ahead and line the lips with the Bobbi Brown red lip pencil so let's go ahead and do that. A big reason why I like these lip pencils is because they don't bleed at all and that's a big deal for a red lipstick and a red lip liner. Next up we're going to go with a Pat McGrath lipstick. This is in her Lux Trance lipstick Major Red 419. Yes, 419. This is her Lux Trance in Major Red. This is gorgeous you guys. Alright y'all, let's try it on. All right, y'all, this is the Pat McGrath Major Red. Guys, this is so stunning. I love this lipstick. I think it's beautiful on the lips. This is a more moisturizing lipstick. So is the Dior in the one that I just tried on. It's not going, it's going to last, but it's not going to non, it's not going to not transfer. So it will transfer if that makes sense. But I think that this would be a gorgeous red for any holiday occasion. This is 419 Major Red by Pat McGrath. Ooh, that Major Red did not want to come off. Let me throw some foundation on to kind of neutralize it and calm it down a bit. Okay, I think we calmed it down just a bit. But another lipstick that I really want to talk about is a lipstick from Chanel. Now this was from their holiday campaign of this year and it's so beautiful you guys. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure Rouge Dior shade in 127 in Chanel. Look at this you guys. Now what makes this so unique is that it has little sparkles in it and it's so beautiful. Now this is this 
this lane's a little bit more on the pinky side of a red, but we're gonna try it on and I wanna show you kind of what it looks like. I'm not gonna use a lip liner with this one, I'm just gonna try it on for you guys so that you guys can see what this looks like. Okay, so this is definitely a lighter red, not as deep as the other two that I have, you know, put on before, but it's still superb and beautiful. I think this formula is actually very creamy and very moisturizing. I do feel like the Dior is very moisturizing. I feel like the Pat McGrath is a bit thicker. It's a bit more opaque and therefore it's going to have a lot, a lot of pigment in it. This is a little bit movable with the lips itself, and I, I like that too. I think this looks beautiful on the lips too. It doesn't accentuate fine lines. It's very, very forgiving. I, I sometimes have dry lips, and when I wear it with that, it does not accentuate anything, which I prefer, honestly, and I like that a lot. So this is the really beautiful Rouge Allure Rouge Dior lipstick in 127 from holiday 2020. I like the fact that NARS can make a lip pencil very nice, hydrating, and very pigmented, but the lip pencil is a great, great hybrid between a lip liner and an actual lipstick itself. It allows you to get a precise kind of edge without having to have two different products. This is NARS Cruella. Now this is in, this is in their velvet matte lip pencil, which is very nice indeed. And you know, they have some great lip products, but I have not, I haven't used a ton of them recently and I need to get back into them. Here is NARS Cruella. So this is NARS Corella. It's a velvet matte. So it is going to be matte, but not, not, it's a soft matte. It's not a hydrating matte, but it's not dehydrating where it's like sucking your lips out of their moisture or anything like that. It's soft. It feels, it can still move on the lips a bit, but it's nice and beautiful and I really like this shade a lot. I kind of like, I love the blue undertone. I love the hybrid. I love the uh, flexibility and kind of uniqueness of the pencil itself. And yeah, the only problem is you have to sharpen it. This is NARS Cruella. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about my favorite formula for a red lipstick. I think that this formula is just beautiful for a red or deeper shade of lipstick because it stays and it doesn't move and it's not gonna get everywhere. It's not gonna get on your teeth or a mask or anything like that. These are the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Glosses by Chanel. And you've probably seen me talk about these a bit before. I have a pretty good amount of them because I love them. They're not dehydrating. They're a good, good color. And this shade in particular, Daring Red, is just screams holiday to me personally, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna try this on for you. And it's a steep blue undertone red, and oh, it's so gorgeous, so beautiful. So let's try it on. All right, Daring Red. What I meant to mention about these is that on one side you have the lip pigment, okay? So this side in particular is the lip pigment, which screws on like this. The other side, once this kind of dries down a bit, it will get a little tacky, <laughs> a little bit, and then you go in with the gloss. So you put the gloss on top, and that seals the deal. It locks it in place for sure. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is a stunner. It's number, between this and the Dior 999, those are like number ones for me. I love both of these. I think they're absolutely stunning on and they just, they make me feel good. You know, like a good red is like, 
I'm ready guys. We're going to tackle this day. All right, y'all. I hope that you like this video. I hope it's helpful for y'all. What is your go-to red lipstick for holiday? I'd love to know. I am so grateful you are here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love to have you. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what your red lipstick is. I will link my latest video right here and I'll see you over there. Bye y'all.